Welcome to Host the Ghost Without the Ghost Or is there? As you can see, I'm at work Right, so I didn't have time yesterday to do Or finish the video that I'd done Or was doing Because I got cut off while I was talking about Geronism and Globebusters Surprise Anyway, so A lot of you are aware of Who the gatekeepers are When I was doing my channel, you know, people were pointing things out privately to me um, about these characters and and others. It's not just them. I'd place Karen B also as a gatekeeper. Um, I've seen the shenanigans and. Um, Again, the backstories and people are just so ready and willing to just support anyone because they, they've got flat earth in their title or no. And what used to really bug me was everyone going on about, yeah, this movement, it's, it's growing and growing and, you know, it's, it never was. There was a few thousand that were into it but it wasn't this huge wake up paradigm shift in consciousness that everyone was it was never going to happen you've only got to look at what's going on today with the mind tricks that the government plays and the sorcery the magic the trickery deceiving you know and for some reason people just don't believe that people are put into these if you like um, topics to control narratives to steer now I think it was John no uh, Mr Britain made an absolute valid point because he was also there at the um, beginning of all the all of the flat earth stuff and um, when when you start pushing narratives and move away from science because it all become word salad really the dome what dome where? What evidence did you have of a dome? But it was pushed, the same with the Makeda um, projection map. Well, it's not a map, is it? It's just a projection. Eventually, you know, the penny dropped for me that not only did Mark Sargent, Patricia, want to use me as one of their puppets you know other things went on with Eric DeBay um, a certain group of people was offered a chance to do the same alongside um, oh, what's his channel I can't remember his channel um Oh, God. The fella that goes around the country and they went abroad and all of that. Why is his name just slipped out of my head? I don't know. Um, John Smith, Globe Lie. On John's, you know, we was off, a group of us was offered and it would have been expenses paid, travelling and all of that. To me, that I just felt uncomfortable because all you're doing is you're pushing Eric to bay and selling books and it's all about money. It's all about money. 
and the misdirection of where people were going with the flat earth. Now, I remember everyone, oh, once you become a, a flat earther, you, there's no going back. No, there, I think once you become aware that where you live is not what you've been told. You can't go back. Labels. Why? Why did everybody get on the bandwagon with the word flat earthers? Why? Labels. That's all they are, just bloody labels. Now... <laughs> Everyone's so awake that they're happy to be labelled, compartmentalised, put in your little box. Really awake, people, eh? Really awake. I want to be a labelled flat earther. There were some horrible things done behind the scenes. Martin Needka. I've got... No time for that fella. Because I know him. You know. Oh Martin. He's so lovely. He's so not. He's deceitful. He's a liar. <laughs> and I know this personally. That he's a liar. And a, a de deceiving person. He's a racist. I pulled him up. Called him out on it. Racist. And Rock Vibrations even stepped up and because she witnessed it too. She was there. And she's the only one who had the courage to stand up and say, do you know what? Brendan's right. Rory's right. Martin was being racist. And yet he tried to defend it by blaming it on the planets. Where the planets was. And there was a, if I remember rightly, an eclipse or something. Really? Really? And these people have these followers. Followers, that's a word, isn't it? Follow, let's follow. Let's be your follower. Now Martin, behind the scenes, was stitched up. He was just a, a, the fool. Easily manipulated because Martin's ego is what drives him. His ego. Martin's got a good heart. I believe that. I do believe he's got a good heart. I don't think inside he's he's a nasty person, but he his ego runs him, and because of that, he was manipulated by Sergeant and Steer and, and others behind the scenes and some horrible stuff blackmail absolute blackmail there, there are other people that know about this and I'm not not going into it but they was they blackmailed Martin Leaker he will deny this of course he will he's not going to put his hands up to it because it, what he did I'm not even going there. Um, that's his personal business. Like I say, I think Martin's got a good heart, but he's easily manipulated. So, and moving on. You know, I remember th these people coming to my channel. David Weiss. Oh, wow, I've never, didn't know your channel existed. Oh, my, and quickly... Um, subscribe to me and like, why? I wasn't doing any, I was a quite a small channel and wasn't really interested in it being a big channel. I wasn't into that. But even that, my opinions on that all changed uh, and understanding that <laughs> within the flat earth labeled community, Egos were just flying around. 
there was some good information, but uh, mixed with a load of absolute dog shit. The relief I felt when I stopped doing all the flat earth stuff, the, and it just made me realise, before all the flat earth, I didn't go around saying, I'm a bald earther, I'm, I'm a bald earther, so why the f would you call yourself a flat earther? No. And I wouldn't even call it that, because, and this is, where I'm coming to with explaining where I stand on this. I should be working. Got all this tiring to do, all this. Look. So I'm at the point now where and there's no beliefs. I don't have beliefs. I don't believe this or that. I can only my reality can only be what I'm experiencing, okay? Now, I, in my opinion, from all my years of watching NASA, in my opinion, it's all fate. In my opinion, with everything I've seen, and using common sense, No one's been to space. They're just glorified fireworks and CGI and all of that stuff. But you know that. You know that. So, basing my understandings on my knowledge and my experiences, and that's all I can draw from, I experienced this realm as a flat plane the physics of water in my opinion means it has to where we live the continents are on a level plane because of water you know i get that i know some of my friends we have come with different angles on this and, and they've probably got good arguments too. But from what I've experienced, water finds its level. Gravity is just a name given to an excuse. That's all it is. It's a name given to an excuse. That does this because of gravity. It's Again, I understand the arguments and um, density, buoyancy, electromagnetics, all of it. A lot of stuff can and probably does come into play. But I have to be honest with myself about this subject and I really have to say that This is this is this is what I think we're living on, and it's only a thought. I don't know this. I don't know the shape of this realm. How can you? I've not seen it all. No one can claim anything about this realm, this world, if you want to call it. No one can claim anything because nobody, not one person, has seen the whole of it. So you cannot say what it is unless you've seen the whole of it. You can make guesses, you can have theories, but that's all they are. So when people start telling you it's this and that, they don't know, as I don't know. My experience, I experience a level earth. What's outside of this level of? Who knows? But I think it's beyond comprehension. I don't think we can actually understand in this physical that we are. Because I've seen 
the other side of things, if you like, the paranormal, the... Um, I've seen stuff that science doesn't explain, cannot ex explain, but it's there and it's happening. So I'm not going to have scientists tell me what this, that, because I don't experience a non-paranormal activity, and I don't even like that word paranormal. We've got a limited eyesight, we've got a limited range of colours, a limited range of frequencies of light that we can see. A lot of this stuff that goes on is beyond our frequency of seeing. Uh, don't stop there. Stop there. I can't stop. I've got, I've got to finish this off now. So, in my opinion, we're living on a living organism. It's alive. We are living on a living organism. We're just part of that. Our consciousness, and again, I don't have proof. I've experienced death. I've experienced when I've done DMT. I've I've seen, and for me, it was a consciousness that I was part of. The consciousness which is connected to everything, everyone. We, we're all part of it. In my opinion. I can't prove it. It's just my thoughts on it. I wouldn't push my ideas on anyone. That's why I don't do the flat earth thing anymore. Because I will talk to people and explain exactly what I've said here. I don't know where we live. And if you're honest with yourself, you can only come to that conclusion. But my experience is level, a level plane. That's my experience. So that's where I'm at. I feel that... Oh, and one more thing. I, You know, all this... Evolution, as far as I'm concerned, is utter nonsense. Um, and then the argument is, well, is there a God? Now, that's another thing. I'm not going to get into that here. But I think that this realm has always been... It just is. And you can't comprehend that. It It's always been here. And I can hear people going, yeah, but what about all the genetic coding and design? It shows that we've been designed. Well, maybe we've just been designed by, I don't know, a, a consciousness as... You know, when you make things happen by thought, you think things and they happen. Maybe the consciousness has always been there with this realm and at some point, things just become. But again, I can't, I can't prove anything. I can't, I don't have evidence for that. It's just my gut feeling that whatever this is has always been. Or it's just an illusion and none of us really exist. And I'm not talking to you. So there you go. Now you know. That's, that's it. Why would I want to label myself? I'm just me, Brendan. I have my own ideas about things, my own thoughts. Are they your own thoughts, Brendan? Yes. 
Yes, they are. They're my thoughts. I do my best to break away from the programming, but it slips in and out sometimes. You can't. You get traps and you fall over them. But all that matters is you try and better yourself as a person. You become a better person. So my concentration and focus is about me, about me growing, about me being the best I can be. Um, in the past, with all Orbs Realm, a lot of people said, yeah, you're, you're, um, you're, oh, I've forgotten what they call. I'm not. I'm not anything. I just happen to experience orbs and energies and entities, good and bad. That's the reality. You know, what you don't see, what I've seen and experienced. But again, I'm not going to push it on people. It's my experience. People can take it or leave it. It doesn't matter to me anymore. But again, most important is about me becoming the better person because by me becoming a better person, it's got to be better for everyone. And if I can give off positive, then that's a good thing. So I'll end that. I'll end this now. Um, if you ever watched it to the end, thank you, and appreciate your time and listening. Um, and I will say big thanks to people like Heather, like For the Love of Truth, Clive, and I really hope you're getting better, mate. I really do. Um, and they, and still waters as above, so below, Mick. Mick's been my biggest... Not guide, but someone I, I could actually bounce things off and without judgment. There was no judgment, you know. We make mistakes, of course we do. Anyways, thanks for watching. You know who I am anyway. Back to work. In fact, lunchtime.